Hello, campers. Well, uh, come to you with some fun stuff today, maybe. Um, uh, well, I got a little painting. So I got this deal here. It's uh, on canvas paper, acrylic. Uh, Acrylic and India ink with uh, a little bit of ballpoint pen, elements of collage. And this is my pal Snubby. Get you a closer look at him. And uh, this is part of, uh, part of what we refer to, I don't know, it's a... Uh, part of a series of vignettes that I kind of wrote and alluded to and also did paintings involving uh, wrapped around the idea, the kind of futuristic kind of science fiction idea of New Kowloon. Um, Why I stumbled upon that was uh, just becoming fascinated with the history of Kowloon City and um, I just kind of thought it was crazy this insane kind of this insane just cement block of a city that just got built up in completely illogical ways and uh, really had no government regulation or anything and so I just had me thought thinking more along the lines of anarchism libertarianism and uh, you know pirate dystopias and I uh, just thought I'd kind of start writing and these little vignettes and paintings revolving around the upsides and the downsides, you know, of a kind of a utopia, kind of a new Kowloon, say if they decide to put a city together like that now. And of course, if they did, you know that, uh, you know, government apparatchiks all over the world would probably be out to destroy it. But... You know, just uh, kind of little vignettes revolving around uh, this kind of anarcho, anarcho libertarian nightmare or dream, you know, however it turned out to be, which would probably be based on the outcome of this or that individual. Anyway, so uh, I wrote a little, I wrote a little, uh, I wrote a little uh, vignette about Snubby, which, uh, I have a blog about, and uh, I'm going to attempt to read this. It's a little odd, but it's a uh, new Kowloon. Or it's a. Uh, it's called dent. This little bit is called dentistry in New Kowloon. Snubby Schwartz says to me, "You got that twenty you owe slick, because it's snubby, and because his teeth are two rows of stainless steel hooks and slightly curved nails. It sounds more like." Wavavayovic. After a while, you get used to it and you start adapting to Snowy speak. I fork over the 20 without a word. There's no better convincer in the world than to have Snubby standing there staring balefully at you like some hideous deep sea creature. But it's what makes him the best bill collector in New Kowloon, that winning smile. He eyes the bill almost absent mindedly, half whispering into him half whispering to himself, rah, 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 rah. He does this a lot, probably reveling in the fact that he's still capable of speech. Rah, 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 rah. He recedes back into the teeming Friday night crowd. He's a new Kowloon success story, Snubby is. He came here with dreams of anarchy and endless free trim. Nothing but the shirt on his back and no marketable skills. The one bad run-in with the Red Dragons and the cheap new Kowloon dentistry did the rest. Anyone's welcome to come out, come in and mind their own business, of course, but once it's settled here, the clarion call went up. New Kowloon needs doctors, scientists, civil engineers. Yes, in spite of all the dirtiest, most pessimistic hopes, anarchy needs doers. Cops, psychologists, IT guys, dentists. Some have the good economical sense to play it cheap and work with what they have. Um, 
they don't get they don't get to cush it in the upper strata of the city, but they get lots and lots of customers. They get a loyal base, and God damn it, they never go hungry. If they don't get paid in legal tender, whatever passes for it, Bitcoin, hell money, uh, you name it, then they're washing dope, guns, pussy, dick, macaroni, art, whatever the hell else you want, or whatever the hell else you can use. He's a libertarian hero, you know, like a bottom-feeding George Washington. There's a hierarchy of dentistry here in New Kowloon. See, if you were a trust fund baby who rolled in here, you'd have it made. Can you get guns, drugs, women, private army? You can probably get a nice little set of pearly whites installed in that yammering craw. Snubby, for one, was not so lucky. He came here with nothing but a... A hope in his heart and a willingness to raise some hell. It's not a pretty thing. Some of us Americans grew up on tales of George Washington and his wooden teeth. The truth, sadly, was way beyond those fabled cherry trees and a whole lot else. But besides, wooden teeth, shit. Try nails, screws, chunks of plywood, Monopoly game pieces, chunks of particle board from Ikea, and even wads of paper. It was, uh... There's a septic hellhole that would scare the living piss out of a Komodo dragon. That was the mouth of the father of our country. The father of my former country. When you hit New Kowloon, you run out citizenship everywhere. You're given the flag of the city and you're told you can pledge allegiance to it if you wish or desecrate it if you don't. It's no big deal. But I digress. Snubby's network and gnarled appliances aren't about to make anybody comfortable. It's a selling point for his services as a collector. I find myself wondering whether he ha whether he ever gets any. Uh, and as is a big edict in New Kowloon, my big inclination is MYOB. He's no fun to be around, but where there's a will in New Kowloon, there's a way. Once he got that new world set up, he went to work for the big boys. The core members of the Red Dragon started turning up dead. The shadows of the dragon, shadow of the dragons, that are pretty much left or operate under some big dog's thumb, which was definitely not the case back in the day. Me, I turn a blind eye. M Y O B. Something tells me whoever's buttering Snubby's bread, he's doing all right for himself. Yeah. Anyway, I'm asking maybe $75 American for this. If you're interested, give me a yell. Catch it.